Here's a day some thought would never come, for the project stalled badly when private donations were asked for early on and few were received. The sale of personalized bricks to the public couldn't have been more crucial to the completion of Pioneer Courthouse Square. Absolutely crucial. The square would not have been built without the bricks. The project was at a standstill because there was a lot of controversy about it. And usually when you do fundraising, you start with the big donors and go to the little ones. But in this case, they went absolutely opposite. They started selling bricks, and they sold like hotcakes. The day's noontime dedication was blessed with springtime sun and a genuine feeling of accomplishment among planners and supporters of the square. This city is a city of quiet accomplishment and quiet pride. We get the job done. It is a real tribute to this city that we have taken the most expensive piece of real estate in the entire city of Portland and we have preserved it for public use. This is truly a people's square and it's evident today why we did it here. Directors say events are planned here every week of the year to keep the square filled with activity and people. It's fun to see the community come together and congregate. It's beautiful. It's real nice. I like the open air idea. It really captures the spirit of a true modern, sophisticated downtown city. I think it turned out better than I'd expected. The ceremony today not only honored the city's 133rd birthday, but the birthday of project designer Will Martin, who spoke of the square as a symbol of the quality of Portland life. We visualize that symbol as a special living room. Walls defined by the changing element of the city, the roof formed by the sky, complete in its design only when occupied by its urban family. Through our combined hopes, dreams, and skills, we hope that we have here designed a public square which will attract both use and affection and thus become a vital place in the hearts of the people. Thank you very much. <laughs> the dedication of Portland's new Pioneer Square has brought throngs of people into the heart of our city, something many merchants surrounding the square are glad for because it just makes good dollars and cents. Especially on this first day opening, many shopkeepers report that lots of people are coming into their stores but it's the restaurants that are really enjoying an increase in business. Well, we feel that it's probably tripled our business as far as our, our morning sales, our afternoon sales, and hopefully we're expecting it to increase our nighttime sales as well. Uh, today is uh, it's much busier. Yeah, there's so many people come in at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Do you anticipate that your business will be up in the future as a result of uh, the opening of the square? I'm sure, yeah. Some restaurants like this one are also passing out flyers, advertising 20% off all regular dinners to drum up even more business. Shops like Tommy Luke Flowers report that some people who ordinarily might not come in have, but there's been no big rush. And that's why this jewelry store is offering 30% off all merchandise today and tomorrow, not only to promote the Pioneer Square, but itself as well. I think it'll be very good for ourselves being right on the square and it's exciting. It's been five years of nothing over there and ten years of talking about it. So we've really been looking forward to it and happy to have it happening. One of the main ideas behind constructing this square was to draw people to the inner city and revitalize it. Businesses around the square seem to think it will. In downtown Portland, Denise Kavazovic, Channel 2 News.